Hello, this is Territorial Tom. Today we're going to be taking a look at our germination house and uh, that's the next step in our series of videos. Through our first two videos we've covered making our soil mixes and also the compost tea and the fertilizing process. Now we're going to move on and talk about how we germinate our seed and what that process looks like. And uh, here in this shot you'll see Kathy seeding our A shipment tomato plants and uh, from there after they're all seeded we bring those over into our germination house and so we'll take a look at uh, what we do there welcome to our germination house this is a uh, pretty unique design uh, for a germination house what we have here is concrete tables a lot of times you'll see people use different types of uh, water systems to eat up water and to get the um, feet of the plant, the base of the plant warmed up for good germination. In our case, what we've done is used uh, concrete tables. And uh, what this consists of basically is a low voltage heating system. And what it's doing is actually heating up this entire mass of concrete and brings it up to about 70 to 80 degrees and that's what the plants really like. The plant doesn't really care if the whole area is heated. It's only caring about oh two to three, two feet probably, uh, 18 inches above the surface of the table and that's what we're concerned about. The rest of the air temperature, it doesn't really matter. There's enough heat coming off these tables that it keeps the greenhouse itself fairly warm but it's the feet of the plant that make the difference. And that's what we're doing here. This system was actually designed for heating homes, uh, melting snow off roof lines, and melting snow off of concrete. Uh, but I got onto this idea because at our home, I heat our house with wood heat. We've got an outdoor wood stove, and it pumps in all the hot water to the floor and that's radiant heat. And the radiant heat is the nicest heat we've ever tried over seemingly eons of time to come up with a good heat source for our home. And so I wondered, how do I come up with a way to do this for plants? Well, obviously you can't have a wood stove sit outside and have all the staff members feed the stove. So I discovered this system called Heatazon that actually uses a low voltage system to heat up the concrete and basically it works the same way. We've got uh, panels underneath here that are uh, foam, uh, foam board insulation and radiant heat goes up, out, in every direction and what this does it forces the heat up through the concrete and, and onto the flats and this is a very efficient system. Uh, what we have in here is a fencing mesh with about a six inch 10 gauge copper wire and it's coated running all through the through the table and we have about six transformers back there to have separate sections for the tables and and this is one of the most effective ways efficient ways because they use a hundred percent of the energy created goes into the, the tables and so uh, it's really interesting in the fact that once you get this table up in temperature it doesn't take that much energy to keep the tables warm. Yeah. One of the things we really enjoy doing is when we flip the tables on, we like to do it in the middle of the day. If we have a sunny day, the sun will come out in the greenhouse and warm these tables completely up. So when you flip on the, the heat, it doesn't even have to, to heat the concrete up. It's already warm. So now you're just maintaining it. And uh, that's a huge advantage. We did cost studies between this house and then the other germ house we had was hot water, a hot water system, inline hot water with propane, and the cost of doing this was half the cost of the other house. So it's a, it's a unique system. Uh, we, we've got all natural wood legs. This house is all certified organic. There's no treated wood or anything in here, and uh, we're really proud of the effects that this house has for our plants. And uh, we'll walk down here and I'll show you some A shipment plants and then get back on talking about how this affects the plant's growth and what the root systems are looking like at this stage. So here's a seedling tray of Japanese trifle black. And if we lift this up, 
you can see the roots just starting to come through the bottom of the uh, seedling trays. And that's just about as far as we like to let them go before we up pot them into two inch pots. Now if we take a look here, and you can see the nice root systems that we have there on these small plants. These plants are responding well to the uh, vermicompost based soils that, that we make and also the compost teas and the mycorrhizae and everything we talked about in the first couple videos. And a lot of this, these tables, if you were to feel them, they're nice and warm, especially underneath. You feel that and it's just, oh gosh, that's, that's warm underneath there. Well, the, the plant's feet are saying exactly the same thing. So the air temperature up here doesn't really matter. It's what these plants are doing down here. And uh, they really love the bottom heat. It's creating the root systems we want. And I think um, you'll see the difference when you get the plants from us later on. Another essential part of our germination house and all of our greenhouses for that matter is we've taken a special precaution to keep undesirable insects from making their way into the house. And that's one of the things that helps us to not have to use sprays or as many sprays, organic sprays to take care of bug problems. And so what we've built is a head house at the end of our greenhouse and it, this is actually thrip screen, okay? And our intake fans are on this side of the house, so when the exhaust fans at the other side of the house turn on, it opens up um, these intake fans, so they open up and it's, and it's sucking in air into the greenhouse. So um, since we have the screen, the bugs cannot get into the house. This is uh, Territorial Tom, till next time, and remember, the most healthiest plants and nutrient-dense plants are those grown in soil that is teeming with microbes.